Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. Yes, this is the channel where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. Now, as we know, the 2022 FIFA World Cup is fast approaching. In just a matter of days, the greatest show on earth will be back. And we know, Jamaica is not there. But you know, there will be Jamaican representation at the World Cup. Yes, that is for absolute certain. There will be Jamaican representation at the World Cup itself. And you might say, but Simon, the reggae boys aren't there, so what sort of reputation and representation are you referring to as it relates to the tournament? Because if you want to look specifically at CONCACAF, there isn't a referee that will, you know, be in charge at the tournament. I mean, you have officials from Dom Rep, officials also from Trinidad and Tobago and, and Suriname, but where is the Jamaican representation? Because they're not there. Well, the good news is this. The Jamaican representation will come in form of 24 players. Yes, that's right. 24 players who were born to either Jamaican parents or grandparents. Yep, that is right. And I think it's imperative that we use this opportunity to show you all exactly what I'm referring to. It's critical. And I'm going to go through that specific list for you guys so you can see it and see that list in particular. There you go. There you go. Look at that list. Now, if you look at the names on this list, a brilliant piece of work done by Stream as it relates to this specific content. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant graphics and content. You know, look at this list. Now, if you look at all the players that have been called up for their respective countries for the World Cup, this list right here are all the players across all the squads with Jamaican heritage. Let's go through the list, shall we? Sean Johnson. As we know, he came for tryouts for Jamaica's under-17 and under-20 teams, eventually represented the United States. Sean Johnson, born to Jamaican father, went to Cornwall College, tall like his father. <laughs> That's Sean Johnson. Robert Sanchez, his father's land name is Lynch. Sanchez is actually his mother's name, so it's on his paternal side. Father born in England, grandfather born in Jamaica. Esteban Alvarado Brown from Costa Rica, grandparents. Jamaicano, defenders. Anthony Robinson, Cameron Carter Vickers, Kyle Walker, Kieran Trippier, Kendall Waston, Keisha Fuller, Cameron Miller, and Derek Cornelius. It's either paternal side of the family through their father or grandparents for these individuals in particular. Arguably, you could say the part of the field that doesn't have that lot of depth as it relates to the Jamaican heritage players at the World Cup is specifically the midfielders. Look at the midfield options. Kenneth Taylor of the Netherlands, Calvin Phillips of England, Ron Wilson of Costa Rica, and Anthony William, William Hernandez of Costa Rica. Parents or grandparents right there. And of course, the forwards, Marcus Rashford, Callum Wilson, Raheem Sterling, yeah, born in Jamaica, but we still put him on this list. Tim Weir, Brennan Johnson, the son of David Johnson, who represented the Reggae Boys. Joel Campbell, Jamaican grandparents. Junior Hoylet, him father, Barna Ochi. Jason Buchanan, and Kyle Lauren. Just look at this list right here. How far do you think that this team would do at a World Cup if you're just putting Jamaican heritage players that are part of their squads? I'll admit that the midfield is doesn't have a lot of depth. It has defensive midfielders for sure, the Calvin Phillips is of this world and Wilson, etc. But the attacking midfield, that is a concern. Unless you're going to shoehorn in perhaps Tim Weah as a number 10, or Joel Campbell as a number 10, or Buchanan as a number 10, or Highlight as a number 10. But yeah. I just want you guys to see that we have faces out there that we can cheer upon. We have players that we can cheer upon for this World Cup. There are players out there that we can. Of the 832 players at this World Cup, 24 of them are Jamaican heritage. That's 3% of all World Cup squads. Just imagine that. An island of 3 million people has 3 million has 3% 3 representation at the World Cup. And Jamaica is not even there at the World Cup. Jamaica is the biggest, smallest little island in the world or the smallest, biggest island in the world. The impact that this country has had 
in music, in culture, in entertainment, in sport, in industry, is just absolutely fantastic. Just let that sink in right there in terms of what Jamaicans have accomplished. And you might say, but Simon, why are there so much in Costa Rica? Why is it that there is such a, a Jamaican community in Costa Rica? It's something I've mentioned before on this channel, and I'll mention again. Jamaicans went to Panama to construct the Panama Canal. And after the building of the Panama Canal, many Jamaicans that were in Panama settled in Panama, or they decided to go west. And some of them settled in Costa Rica, found wives, and they eventually settled in a place called Limon in Costa Rica, and it became their home. Not a lot of people know this, but Paula Wanchop? Yeah. Yeah. Hernan Medford? Yeah. And I could go on and 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 on. And also Jamaicans went to Costa Rica to play a part in the banana, irrigation, and other industries within agriculture in Costa Rica. England, we know the link right there. The United States and Canada, we know the links right there as well. The Spain one is an interesting one with Sanchez because his father is English, but his grandfather is from Jamaica. So his father met a Spanish woman and what can we say? The rest is absolutely history there. You know what I mean? And with Wales, David Johnson, yeah, I'm still baffled as to, uh, we all knew the work that was done and there was no follow-up being done on Brennan Johnson, you know? But it is what it is. We're just going to have to move on from it, you know? It's sad, but Brennan Johnson is just not a not going to be a Jamaican international, even though I think he could have been if we had reached out six years ago. But we'll move on. He's represented Wales at the World Cup, so it is what it is, you know? And we're just going to have to move forward from it. Tejan Buchanan, somebody who I think we could have gotten. If you look at this list of 24, realistically, realistically speaking, Sean Johnson, Kamal Miller, Derek Cornelius, Calvin Phillips, Callum Wilson, Tim Weir, Brennan Johnson, Junior Hoylett, Tasia McCannon, and Kyle Lauren. Personally, I think 10 of the 24 of, of this list we could have achieved. And Junior Hoylett's dad was in constant dialogue with, with Michael Ricketts, not Michael Ricketts, sorry, Captain Horace Burrell during that era when Junior Hoylett was playing at Blackburn Rovers and doing so well. But it didn't materialize. It didn't materialize, unfortunately. But that is a situation that we have in relation to that matter in particular. Now, if you had to pick an 11 for this, what would your 11 be in particular? For me, Sanchez and Net, right back, Kieran Trippier, left back, Fuller, center halves, Kamal Miller, and Anthony Robinson, midfield, Phillips Taylor Wilson, and a front three of Marcus Rashford, Tim Weir. Junior Highlights. What are you guys' thoughts? What 11 do you think could have come out of, out of this? And of this 24 player list, what are your personal thoughts about it? How many of them do you think Jamaica could have, should have gotten? Your personal thoughts about it. But these are some quality names. And I honestly think that of this 24, we'll see about 16 of them actually play at the World Cup. 16 to 17 of them actually play. Your personal thoughts? What are your thoughts about this World Cup squad in particular? How far can they go? Will they go deep within the competition itself? Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. Yeah? Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content.